up here hanging out with my buddy in the playroom. Maddox, can you say good morning? When's your birthday? Apple. October. Yeah. Say October. October. 13th. 13th. What kind of party do you want? I want toast or a birthday. And I, and I want... He wants a Toy Story birthday, but with a lot of balls. <laughs> he still is obsessed with little balls. You guys know, he carries them around everywhere. Yeah. But um, yeah. uh, if anyone I remembers, love. we've already had a Toy Story birthday I before. Adriana, you love those kind of balls. Audrey had a Toy Story birthday, was it for her? I, I think it was for her fourth birthday, I wanna say. But yeah, she had a Toy Story themed party. So you want a Toy Story party with Buzz and Woody and everybody? Yeah. Yeah? I, I, I want at mommy's house. You want it at mommy's house, okay. <laughs> and, and my, I want a... You want to get more balls for your birthday? <laughs> He's so easily pleased, it's hilarious. He So we're just killing time here at Walmart because I had to get my tire, I got um, a flat tire I had to get fixed. So we're just waiting for that to get done and I figured why not just walk around and look at toys. It gets stuck on your head. Oh my goodness, it's Maddox. You look like a motorcycle boy. Look, look at yourself, Maddie. You have that one, yeah, Maddox, look. Look, you can see yourself, look. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? It's a dinosaur toy? So many more toys nowadays than there were when I was a kid. And maybe that's just weird. But I feel like we didn't have this many options of toys. And now it's just like endless. I just feel like there's endless amounts of toys. It's crazy. Ooh, it's squishy. What is it supposed to do? This is gonna be squishy. Ooh. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. What is it doing? Squish it again. Ah! <laughs> Squish it again. Ew! That's actually really gross. <laughs> okay, why do you think you should get this, mister? Tell me why you think you should get it. Uh, why do you want that? Because I want this of, uh, I want this for at home. You want that for at home to play with? Weasel his way into getting a toy. Okay. I'm a sucker. Actually, it's only nine bucks. Though, oh, so. Okay, I so now we gotta look around for stuff that mommy needs. Yeah. Hey Maddox, if I get you that, are you gonna take care of it? Yeah. You're not gonna rip it up? Nope. Okay. Okay, so I will say being at Walmart isn't nearly as deadly as being at Target. I would have had the entire store by now if, it, if I had been at Target. Mom, what, what'd you get? Yes, we all know you got a toy already, didn't you? Spoil. Um, but if I had been at Target right now, my cart would already be full. So, thankfully, doing pretty good, right? Okay, legit, you guys, sometimes I shop in the men's Whoa. department. Whoa, these t-shirts are so great, I and they're, the they're really big, but you can, okay, I heard you, you can tie them, and make them stylish. So I think I'm gonna get one of these, even though it's in the men's department. I think they're really cute. I'm gonna get this one. Boop, where'd Maddie go? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool too. Look at these little flannel situation. I like these. These are cute, man. I'm ready for fall, yo. These are cute, for real, for real though. Okay, so, oh my, I was trying on clothes and now my whole headband and hair situation is off. So this is why, you guys, I have to eat plant-based because when I don't, I feel so tired and so sluggish. I have been eating like crap this week, to be fully honest. Um, and I blame it being that time of the month, <laughs> TMI, but Honestly, I mean it is that because I usually am fine to eat healthy, but I've just been craving like all sorts of unhealthy things And I've been saying yes to the cravings um, And eating way more meat than I've been eating not that there's anything wrong with meat But just my body personally does not process meat. Well, I feel tired and sluggish. I'm ready to make coffee right now I just don't feel like I have any energy and I know it's directly related to how I've been eating so 
Comment below if you ever have times like this where you just, you know what your body needs but you don't follow it and then you pay for it and you're like, that was so dumb, why? I've been looking so basic this week. <laughs> I've just been wearing gray t-shirts all week because I'm completely uninspired with fashion. I, this is the time of year where I'm over summer and I just want it to be fall. So whenever I get dressed, I'm just like uninspired. <laughs> so I've just been wearing gray t-shirts and jeans all week. But I tie them like that and it looks a little a little bit like I tried. Just a smidge. Mm, the gang is back. We are all together again. Woohoo. Hey mom, this is what I this is what I do a long time ago. I think what? this is what I do. You could probably just leave your jacket in the car, buddy. It's pretty I just, I just do this. No, I found. I tie it like this. You tie it around yourself? Cool. Okay, and we're off. Okay guys, so my friends Luke and Paul are vegan, like completely vegan, 100%. They have been for a couple years and they're coming over for dinner. So I'm going to make a really quick and easy, completely plant-based meal for them. Kylan's wiping the table down so we can get ready to set it. Quick parent tip, if you are trying to entertain and you um, have a hard time cooking and getting things done while the kids are around, sometimes that's hard for me, give them a job to do and it helps a lot. Pro tip. I am making a red pepper and penne pasta. It's super easy, it's creamy, it'll be delicious, and it'll be completely vegan. Close the door when you're done. <laughs> and then as your job is going to be to fold the napkins and put the... Um, yeah, it don't really hurt. Somewhere. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. Official, huh? Okay, so you're gonna help with the kale salad. Yeah. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies. Okay. I just told my kids not to scream, and then I'm screaming. My friends are here. Hey. They just walked in, and I'm throwing food at them because we're all hungry. We are all hungry. Now I'm gonna turn this off because, but I had to vlog because I always forget to vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to dinner. No problem. Thank you, for that. Oh, you guys are so sweet, Welcome. my vegan friends. Okay, so I tried to make this nice cream, you guys. Not tried, I did make it. You did. I don't know why I'm so hard on myself cooking. You need to stop, stop. stop it. You're this, she made this pasta, it's delicious. She also it's made, gone. It's gone. Like, we okay, that does look really legit. She's that looks good. Look at that. Look at that. The pasta look, is gone. The pasta is Thank gone. Thank you guys, well, you're so sweet. It was sweet. so good. It was so good. And Thank now you. we have. Now we have this banana ice cream, or ice cream? <laughs> it's called, it's called? nice cream, but yeah, it, it has a lot of flavors. See, see that, there can you go. see it? Yep. Let it focus, there you go, hold it right there. Ooh, good. Good job, girl, there That's you go. That's the butter shot right there. <laughs> yeah. Butter's made. Oh, you guys are cute. We, we all want to like it's hard like a, like I know. a shell stuff. I know, it turns oh, like oh, hard. It's totally, it's totally hard. I know, yeah, that's what happens, that's what happened to oh. my ice cream. Instantly when Here. you put it on there, Which it I turns shell. Very manly, but yeah, it is, isn't it? Really it. Helps it. The chocolate helps. Good morning, friends. This is a weird angle. <clears throat> um, different day, same hairband, headband, because I'm really feeling this today. Uh, so I had to put up my put on my grown up outfit today, my grown up pants. Um, still in mom mode because I'm always in mom mode. But I have a couple really important meetings today that I'm very excited about for some things that might be happening. Anyway, um. I just dropped Maddox off at his daycare and or preschool, whatever. And um, I'm going to try to get a little work done at a coffee shop before my meeting. 
it's just been one of those mornings where the morning got away from me. I was like, oh, I have plenty of time. And then I looked at the time. I was like, oh, no, I got to get ready really quick. I need to hurry up. We need to be there. Um, and then I thought I was going to run out of gas. I've been trying to stay on top of little things that I procrastinate that make me feel stressed out. Um, speaking of that, are you a procrastinator? Because I've realized I have become such a procrastinator about the simplest things and it stresses me out. Like I will wait to the last minute to do something really important and then I'll get it done under pressure. But the process is so stressful. I'm like, why do I do that? I need to stop doing that. So lately I've been making myself lists of things that have to get done, um, and doing them when I should, instead of procrastinating. So if you're a procrastinator, comment below and let me know what your process is um, and why do we work? I mean, sometimes I do feel like I work better under pressure and I think that sometimes that's why I procrastinate because I'm like, oh, I'll get it done. I'll just get it done under pressure. But it's so stressful living life like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I am in desperate need of coffee. I just got gas. Oh yeah, <laughs> and back to the gas thing. So. I usually try to get gas before I'm on E, um, but I kind of just forgot this time and the light came on and when the light comes on, it instantly gives me anxiety because I, I ran out of gas like years ago, like years ago. But if you run out of gas one time, it just imprints in your head and you are forever scarred by it. So also I feel like my glasses are really dirty. Oh, um, and I have nothing to clean them with anyway. Oh yeah, speaking of procrastination, so I've been wearing glasses because I'm out of contacts. And you know why I'm out of contacts? Because I didn't make an eye appointment. Why didn't I make an eye appointment? Well, because I was procrastinating and I was waiting and waiting and I finally used up all of my contacts and I don't have any, any more. And you know, those of you who wear glasses know you can't get new contacts if you're due for a eye exam. So there we go again. There, there's another example of me procrastinating something really dumb that I could have gotten done. Um, and now I'm stuck wearing glasses every day because I have one contact and I only wear the one when I work out because I hate working out with glasses. This is just madness. Why am I like this, y'all? Please tell me I'm not alone in this just vicious cycle of stress that I add to my life. Unnecessary stress. Now I'll have From to get meetings home. to climbing rocks. I'm in full mom mode now. We are now climbing rocks at this park and yeah, I picked the kids up from school and oh, See, don't go to the edge over there, Adriana. Oh, oh this is cool. See? It's don't go to the edge though, you could easily fall. Please don't go there. You know there's another rock under that. Yeah, but if you fall and hit that rock, you're gonna be very hurt. Come it's not on. like it'll just you catch you. I found some little caves. Do you wanna see them? Uh my. So now we're rock climbing. Oh my, oh my. Oh, you guys, I love it, but you get you give me anxiety sometimes. Oh my. I should take you guys rock climbing actually sometime. That would be fun. Indoor rock climbing. It's like a thing that's Oh my. Oh my. You guys are so much braver than I was when I was a kid. And these kids are so much more adventurous than I was as a kid and even yeah. as an adult. I love it. Yeah. In, your, in your dress. <laughs> Good thing you have shorts underneath. You're so cute. You try it again? Get it, girl. Woohoo! Okay, there goes Maddie Bear. Yeah.